highlight diffusion is usually achieved by a filter in front of the lens. This filter has intentional optical imperfections to make the light scatter around inside. This gives your highlights this dreamy quality. But unfortunately, you can't change your mind if you're using a lens filter. You shot it that way, it stays that way. An alternative is the Bloom and Mist plugin. We will have a look at these two shots. Both shots are in very different lighting conditions and we will go for two entirely different looks. Starting with the first shot, let's make this a little bit bigger. We have some direct sunlight hitting the curtain there and if I bring up the scopes, they actually are clipping. So adding a little bit of highlight diffusion to smooth off the edge would be a good idea. And this is the look I'm going for in this example. Just a very minimal highlight diffused look. To do that, I'll search for Bloom, here it is, Bloom and Mist, and I will enter mask mode. Now I decrease the light threshold until all the light sources I want to include are included. I think I want to roll them off a little bit. Maybe I can go a little bit further, but I want to pay attention that her skin isn't affected. So let's dial it back a little bit. Maybe like, like this. Yeah, I think the brightest part of her shirt is fine if we include it. Maybe just smooth it off a little bit and go a little bit higher. Yeah. Something around here. We don't need to decide on anything we can go back at any time. Underneath you can see the highlight recovery section, we will worry about that in a little bit. Now I will disable the mask mode and the only thing left to do is increase the diffusion. Something like this. I'm paying attention to this area here, it spills a little bit too far for my taste since I'm going for a very minimal look in terms of highlight diffusion, so maybe around 12, 15 ish, let's say 15. Bypass the plugin now and then to see what you're actually doing. And I think I'll leave it at that. If we pay attention to our scopes, we can see that the highlights that are already clipped stay in place, but everything else just blows out a little bit more. This is before, this is after. Since so much is already clipped, I want to preserve as much as I can. Therefore, I go into the highlight recovery section. Let's zoom in here. Now I will increase the highlight recovery until we get all of the details back. Something like this and increase the smooth roll off ever so slightly. Let's zoom out again and let's have a look. Without highlight recovery, this is with the highlight recovery. It pulls it back a very considerable amount. Let's have a look. Before, after, maybe a little bit less. And yes, I think that's already enough to do the trick. Okay, 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 I hear you. Let's go bananas. In the next shot, I want to go full haze mode. So let's see if we can pull that off. Again, the process is the same. I start with the mask mode, lower the light threshold until all of the lamp is included. Then I will smooth off the roll off just a bit. And yeah, we have most part of the lamp included, a little bit of these uh, city lights back there. So I think this selection is fine for now. Again, we will worry about highlight recovery later on. And now let's crank up the diffusion. I think we can crank it up all the way. Let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. And if we pay attention to our scopes, we don't even need to bother with highlight recovery. This is before, this is after. All of the highlights stay in place, so I think that's about it. Even though I said let's go bananas, I think reducing the projection would be a good idea to make it still a little bit more believable. So let's turn it down all the way and turn it up until we find a sweet spot. Somewhere here. Maybe I'll turn down the diffusion just a tad, something like this. And to counterbalance this, I will increase the projection again. So this is before, this is after. 